Today we're going to be adding a humidity controller switch to our DIY fogger we made in the last video. Welcome back to Green Farms Garden. My name's Alex and if this is your first time here and you love gardening, ornamental plant care and DIY, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss a single thing. So if you remember in the last video, we built our DIY fogger for use in our greenhouse. In this video, we're going to be connecting it up to a little humidity controller switch, which will be able to regulate the humidity in our greenhouse activate our fogger when it senses the humidity is getting too low and pump it back to our desired level. So let's jump right in and get this humidity switch controlling our fogger. If you want to know how to make this fogger and you missed out on the video, then it'll just pop up there in the top corner. Make sure to watch that and then jump right back to this video. So this is our cheap humidity controller we got from Amazon. Cost me about 14 euros it seems pretty cool what it can do it came with no instructions at all and it's all in chinese as you can see but we managed to work it out the other day me and a mate of mine and we tested it on a, a low voltage and um on a pc fan we got we got the gist of how it works so basically this is our 220 volt our mains power supply which is coming from our house and then this is the output. Basically everything on this circuit is what's gonna be getting power when this little device switches on. In this case, our fogger. And it can either do 12 volt or 24 volt. I think it can also do 220. So basically whatever power you're giving into the feed. So if we feed into here 220 volt, you'll be getting out of the output 220 volt. But if we, feed it 24 volt current it'll be outputting a 24 volt current and that's what we're going to be doing and likewise with the 12 volt we're going to be connecting this input to our driver our 24 watt driver and then we'll be connecting our fogger to this so let's get that wired up we'll get in the greenhouse and see how it works so this is our box that's going to contain our driver and humidity switch keep everything nice and dry detected i cut a little glass into it and blue gunned it on so i can see what's going on in there and then using a bit of foam board we've got a nice little backing that we can screw our stuff onto so let's fix our humidity controller onto here we'll connect it to our driver then we'll place it in our greenhouse we'll connect up our fogger and then we'll turn our electric off and finish the job by connecting it to our house power. So we'll just pop a couple of screws into our foam board. Screw this down so it's all nice and neat. So this we're going to be connecting to our fogger. This is what we need to be connecting to our power supply. Red's positive so that goes into the positive part well, where we were okay that's that's in blacks are negative So we're just gonna add a connector block to this because this cable we're gonna keep in here and then we'll have the cable powering our humidifier coming into the box. So I'll just make it easier to disconnect in the future. So the black is our negative, the yellow is our positive, just in case you were wondering. So we'll connect these up. So let's slip our panel into our box like 
like that. That's our humidity sensor, so we don't want that in the box, obviously. So now we need the cable for our fogger. Let's connect that to the connector block. This is our positive cable. Our negative. Brilliant. I can go nice in there. So let me get all this now to the greenhouse and then we'll connect it to the mains. So we're in our greenhouse. We've got our DIY fogger here. We've not got it connected to our tank yet. We'll sort that out once we've got it running. And we've got it plugged in now to our power box right here. Got our sensor plugged up here. So all it thing to do now is to connect our mains supply to the um, to the house. Going to connect it to the mains. All this is done. We've got the driver powering our humidity switch. And when our humidity switch turns on, it's going to send power then to our fogger. So let's get this connected now to the, the mains power. This is just a temporary cable because I don't have any more and it's too short. But I'm just going to connect it here directly um, until I find some more cable. You could put a plug on the end of this, plug it in, that would be a much safer option. I hate touching electric, so before we plug this in to here and wire it up, we're going to turn off the power to the house. Okay, so we managed to get that plugged up. Man, I'm sweating my head off, it's so hot. And working in that little cramped area whew, was getting me angry. Let's uh, turn the electric back on now. If you're a bit unsure what to do, then don't do it. Make sure you try and find a friend, ask around, make sure you, you know what you're doing if you're gonna try and plug it up in that way. Using a plug is going to be the safest way. The worst thing that's going to happen is the electricity will trip out. So, got our electric back on. Let's go and see our fogger. Oh, it's working. <laughs> it's on. Nice one. Oh, that feels so cool. There is our sensor. So we've got it running. I've put these two little stickers on to help me remember which way it is. And this is our lower limit on. So basically we set our lower limit for when our um, fogger comes on. This is our upper limit when our fogger then turns off. So the only thing we need to do to adjust our limit is hold down the switch for a few seconds and you see it's set to 58.9 degrees I could raise that to 60 let's see so now it's on now I just keep pushing that hold it down and it'll do it quicker oh let's let's put it to 60 knock it down a few there so now it's going to switch on at 60 degrees so our lower limit it's 59.7 and our upper limit we've set to 80.5 so that should should be pretty good 
So there you've got it. Next, I want to put a extractor, like an exhaust fan up here that can turn on at a certain temperature and help suck out the hot air that is um, building up in here. I've got it in the shade. It's shaded by a tree, but it is still getting a lot hotter in here than it is outside. So I need to get some kind of ventilation going. So we'll do that in a future video. If you enjoyed this video, um, if you've got any questions, ask in the comments. I ain't an electrician, so I'll do my best to answer you. You might be best off asking someone if you're a little bit unsure about anything. Uh, maybe ask a friend who, who knows more about that. Make sure you like, subscribe. Let me know how you get on in the comments. Guys, as always, it's been fun. Share this video with your friends if you found it interesting. I'll see you next time.